What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and right now, well, I have a little surprise. Actually, I have a couple little surprises. One, the Redneck Champagne Ice Cooler. It is gorgeous. Now, I have champagne because it is officially 2021 and this is my first posted video in the year 2021. So, we're gonna pop some champagne. Now, I do not pop champagne that much. <laughs> I think I popped one like once, like years ago, so bear with me here. But can we take it outside? No, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna open the door and we're gonna make the cork go out there because... Um, what? I think you need to stand a little bit further outside. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta, I gotta undo this first. This isn't what makes the cork pop. I think you gotta like, you gotta like pull it out a little bit. Uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> aim it. <laughs> Goodness, you scared me. I thought it was gonna go everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. You're, you're distracting me. Well, you were distracting me. I was, I was look, trying to do I it. I was looking at my ceiling <laughs> and all that grill. You can't talk to me. I just got to do it. And you distracted me. Anyways, we popped the cork. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Eve. This video won't be posted until probably like, I don't know, January 2nd. So I don't want to post on a holiday because for us YouTubers, posting on a holiday, no bueno. People are out celebrating, doing stuff with their family and friends, so people aren't really on YouTube as much. I'm trying to pour it where it's like a professional. I've seen bartenders do this, so, you know. Do a little more in this one. You trying to get me drunk? Yeah, to the new year. You ready? Here you go, Redneck. <laughs> get out of here. Here you go. You're like, where am I? Here you go. All right, cheers to the new year, YouTube success, and family. <laughs> Turn the camera around. Woohoo! Mm. It's actually not bad. I Tastes totally, like the Riesling with bubbles. To start off this video, we pop some champagne. Welcome to the new year, 2021. We all know 2020 was a crazy year, but to be honest, personally, 2020 was probably my personally now everything going on in the world despite that for me it's been a good year and i'm just gonna look at the positive aspects of it but now we're gonna go trigger fish fishing up in jacksonville and then we're gonna come back to stewart florida and we're gonna cook up a whole trigger fish guys we are in Jacksonville right now we're about 60 miles off the coast I just went and caught a bunch of vermilion snapper and that was my last video I posted and now we're just dropping rigs down around 200 feet and seeing what we pull up Joey's on the electric reel Blue Gabe's over there on a spinning reel and I'm on a conventional right here I'm on a conventional I got oh, the ugly are? stick yeah. oh Blue Great. Gabe's on the Good. ugly stick Ugh, 200 feet. I see color. Joey's cheating. This, I am not. I caught I'm another, I caught another beeline. And right there, folks, that is our limit of beeliners right there. <laughs> we needed one more. Oh my goodness. Guys, I gotta show you something. What are you doing? All right, so this I'm is fish, our vermilion snapper, our beeline snapper fish. that we just caught in our last video. But you know, we caught so many, I'm gonna go ahead and release this one. I can't get over this. You got a rod in one hand and an electric reel in the other. Yeah. Dang, something big on there. Big old trigger fish? No, a big pink porgy. Nope, nope, nope. Big Mondo trigger. Mondo trigger. That is a stud, actually. Yep, yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa! Big old quicker. My fans, whoa. 
whoa, whoa. Trigger down. It's a beautiful Jacksonville trigger fish. Big one. Dang. About as good as it gets for eating right here. A little foam is up in the camera lens. That was me all the time. Babe, 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 babe! Stop! Get him! Oh god, turn the handle! Don't stop! Turn the handle! I thought you were filming your own video over there. I was trying to get my GoPro and then this thing just went. Whoo. I hope it's a trigger. Oh, this if it's a trigger, this is a massive trigger. Right, pick... Oh! What the heck? It just pulled? Yeah. Let me come over here on your other side. You need some light. Wait, I need a I need all the footage I can get go. for my video. You already got one. Oh, your hair's <laughs> gonna get all hung up in the reel. Yeah, let's not do that. Why don't you tell everybody about me falling on you an hour or so ago on the way out? I thought you did it on purpose. That was really funny. No, I thought you did I, too. You actually followed on I actually he does fell, it. I was oh either gosh. that or squish her camera. He does it all the time. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm cold. I'm trying to keep my hat on my head. You my hair's knotted. <laughs> Only a hundred more feet to go. Steady reel, steady reel. I need to do this thing. There you go, that's it. That's the move right there. That's the new meta. What's the name of y'all's business? Team Buck Rogers. If you wanna go come fish with me, do a 12 hour like this, go to Team Buck Rogers. Duck. Queen oh, trigger fish. Oh beautiful, as beautiful as it gets. Unfortunately, in Florida, for whatever reason, these things are now considered aquarium fish and they're illegal to keep if they're over four inches and dead. So you have to keep them alive. They have to be under four inches. But absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors, guys. Dang. That's insane right there. Oh my God. Don't throw him back. We're oh, yeah. a picture. I want a picture. Absolutely. Remember in our last video, we yeah, caught like four of them. Yeah, we didn't oh, know. I didn't know you could even catch those. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold that truck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's getting whooped, babe. Turn around and look at you. Oh, I oh. lost him. Oh, gosh. I'm trying. Oh, he almost bit me. Yeah, that is the thing. You, so that's you the last thing finger you want. To him. Wow, this is like honestly probably my, my favorite catch ever. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. So unique. And giant, too. That's a that's an eight, nine pound trigger fish. Right I've there. never seen like the. What are they? Queen triggers? Queen trigger fish. I've never seen them this big before. Yeah. All right, Trigger. You ready? See ya. See you later. Dang. Good catch. High five. Oh, oh, why you <laughs> white slime all over me? You, do, you don't need the level wind. Okay, okay, fine. It's crazy that that tide just picked up like that out of nowhere. I know, I'm like, I'm letting out this line, it's just going and going, I'm like, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, it's Watch a, out! it's a button! Watch <laughs> out! Of course, I, start, I, I talk smack about the new strip. <laughs> Watch out! Nice! nice. What a girl, Kelly! Oh my God, Woo! Awesome. Woo! Watch out, baby. I'm like, dang, that trigger fish is fighting hard. <laughs> Awesome. I thought they yeah. didn't like them bonita strips. I know, what the heck? I knew that was good. That's what happens. That's what happens when you talk smack. Talk smack. Dang, I was not expecting this. Surprise. Just cut it until I have a new hook on it. Oh no. Yep. It's frayed anyway. All right, are we releasing him? Yeah. Release him into the box. Into the box. Or into the basket, the I basket. should say. Into the basket. The basket of goods. Woo! I don't know if I need to take this jacket off. Let's see if you can take it, the jacket off successfully before you get wrecked. Wait, I gotta make sure. <laughs> nibble, nibble. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what you got? Hopefully a big old trigger. There you go. It's this so is funny. bikini and board shorts weather. I know. Golly, we went from, oh my goodness. We went from 32 degrees this morning to probably like 78 sunny and beautiful out. Beautiful. I'm over here with like four layers on. I'm over here in my skinny sweatpants. <laughs> 
That's a trigger. I know they can't. They fought this hard. Steady reel. No pumps. No pumps. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this little. You know, I just discovered about like eight months ago that people actually eat trigger fish. I never knew that. I thought they were just a pretty fish in the ocean. <laughs> Let alone they're delicious. Joey taught me this easy way of reeling without getting worn out. <laughs> Cause convention, I don't fish with conventional rods too much. So my left arm just gets worn out so fast. So here I have the rod butt up under my right armpit. And it's digging in case y'all are wondering. Yeah. You see color yet? No. You got four. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I see color. No, wait, that was a glare. <laughs> 110 more feet to go. Giant mutton. Stop. I was just joking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you joke. That's why I say stop. I'm like, stop. <laughs> Here it is. Look what you caught. Trigger fish. Trigger? I got a old nice. trigger. Hello, Mr. Trigger. I wish Ooh. we got them that big at home. I know, right? Miami, they're this big. Stewart, they're like half the size. Yum, yum. Trigger. Beautiful. I brought those pink Dankos just for you. Just for me. For me? You shouldn't have, man. Thank you. Guys, what, color. what are you doing? I'm taking my pants off because I'm sweating. <laughs> Look at Just his like, eyeball. He definitely came up from 200 feet. I wish I could. I'll show you their teeth when they're dead. You rub your finger. I am not getting bit by one of these <laughs> in the box. Oh. Yeah. Life goal of mine never to get bit by a trigger fish. I'm surprised I haven't yet. I almost gotten bit several times spearfishing because sometimes I don't stone them and they'll swim around and didn't charge at me, but luckily I've never gotten bit yet. Yet, I say yet. All right, we got three trigger fish on the electric reel. Oh no, no. Oh my gosh. Triple header. Triple header, it's Triple a good thing. Triggers. We love trigger fish. All right, hopefully the wind's not too bad in this GoPro. I just used about three other GoPros and they all died on me. So the sun is going down. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. And we absolutely slayed the fish. It's been a while since I've had a slay day like this. We got mutton snapper, trigger fish, queen trigger, a massive AP, caught a bunch, or not AP, AJ, AJ caught a bunch of other amberjacks that we released. We got vermilion snapper, pinkies they call them. Uh, what else? A giant cuda, gag grouper, oh my gosh. Just absolutely insane out here. Check it out. I just broke off a giant. Did you? Yes. Man. Yeah. Check out Gabe's massive mutton snapper. So big. This is mine. And mine is still huge too. But man, this is a Mogan right there. Another, another mutton. What is this? There's the grouper. Hello. Oh, oh, and another species I forgot. Al, how do you say it? Almacoa? Almaco. Almaco. And like we caught Almaco the gas station, but with an L. <laughs> Alc Come here, Martin. Wait, say it one more time. Almaco. 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 I keep butchering this word. And we caught Almaco, which is what this is right there. Almaco back at home, every time I see them in the water, there are these little babies and you see them under the weed patches floating out in the ocean. Here, you can catch them pretty big. See if I can hand feed. I'll give you 20 bucks if you can get five foot from it. I'm already five foot. No. Look, he just tried you. Uh, I've grabbed him before. Quick like ninja. <laughs> I need to work on my ninja skills. <laughs> Alright guys, so it is the next morning. We got in super late last night, but we're gonna go ahead and clean some fish. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Here's our trigger fish that we caught, and check out their teeth. You do not want to get bit by one of these things. 
And unlike the sheephead, sheephead are not known to like attack, but triggerfish, they will attack. I think Blue Gabe has a video of him scuba diving and the triggerfish is attacking the camera with the GoPro underwater. Anyway, so the thing with triggerfish when you fillet them is their scales and their skin are like a coat of armor. So you can't just cut into them like a normal fish. You have to find a soft spot and poke your knife in. Like so. And you really want to make sure you're cutting from the inside out. Boom. Wiggle that knife in there. Cut from the inside out. Poke it through. Look how, look how big that seagull is. He's a monster. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're taking a little break from filleting because they're putting a boat in the water. Boy, y'all did good, didn't you? Oh yeah. Huh? Did real good. All right, guys, we're back at it. So, boom, boom. And then there's a little bone right here. You just gotta push through. Then, just finish filleting it. Dang, that's nice. There we go. Takes a little bit of elbow grease sometimes. So, when I take the skin off these trigger fish, because it's such a wide fillet, I grab a longer knife. That way I'm not struggling with a shorter knife. Grab yourself a little handle right there. Stick your knife in, keep it level. And just like any other fish, pull that skin right off the fillet. Boom. Check that out. And then I like to keep the fillet on the skin that way it's not touching this table. Just cut off the, the yucky pieces, give them to the birds. I am so excited. I haven't had trigger fish in so long and it is a, such a good fish to eat. But I'm, I showed you guys how to flay trigger fish just because they're a little bit more difficult to flay, especially if someone has never flayed a trigger fish before because their skin is so hard. And you will dull the crap out of your knife if you start sawing at it. But I think for the video, I'm gonna cook one whole, which I've never done with a trigger fish before. But I heard, some little birds told me, that a lot of people eat trigger fish whole. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a go when we get back to Stewart. All right guys, we have our whole trigger fish here. Come check it out. This is so unique looking right now. Look at those teeth. Look at that. Is it trigger? Yep, look at that trigger. That is super cool. So I've never prepared a trigger fish whole before. Mm. And apparently in a lot of different countries, they eat trigger fish whole. I've always just filleted them and dispose of their carcass. I didn't realize how much meat was in the head of these trigger fish. So I'm super excited to cook this up and see how it is. What are you <laughs> he's, doing? He's doing to you what you do to me on my exes and intros. Are you hungry, Luke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, so first things first is I am kind of winging it just like I do with all my cooking. <laughs> but yeah, that's not even Duke's. It's not. This is buy one get one free at Publix. And it's light. <laughs> I can't believe you wouldn't use Dukes. I mean, goodness. You know what? I like, I kind of like this mayo better, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Dukes myself. It's a little, Dukes is a little too oily for me. Rub that mayo in. <laughs> Who is calling us right now? Dalton? Y'all see that Double C Ranch? what they know about that Double C Ranch? That double C Ranch though. Dad, I thought we were going to the ranch today. What's yeah. up? All right, so anyways, before we got interrupted, Dalton just called us and he is our guide at the Double C Ranch that we always hunt at up in Benel, Florida. All right, so we lathered it up with some mayonnaise on this side and we're gonna do the same to the other side. Look at him. I bet he wasn't expecting to be put on the grill hole. All right, this is gonna go messy. <laughs> I'm not a lefty. <laughs> it shows. 
get his cheeks, get his chin, all around that eyeball. Check out that bone, though. I wish you'd rub me down like this. When you got that dry skin, man, you always telling me to rub your back. Look, he's creeping again. <laughs> he's always creeping. Luke's always hungry, that's why. All right, mayo is done. Second step, wash your hands. All right, so I have a little garlic seasoning here. And no, it's not Gabe's favorite. This is what I found at Sprouts, which is this new grocery store here in Stewart that I absolutely love. It's kind of like a Whole Foods. But I'm kind of going to go light on the garlic salt just because I'm going to add um, some chopped up garlic to the fish. Mayonnaise is real salty too. Yeah. Okay. I don't, you know, I don't use mayonnaise a lot, but I'm starting to use it a lot, so that's good to know. Mayonnaise is a lot of salt in there. I have some turmeric which is great for inflammation. Any type of inflammation in the body, turmeric is the way to go. It's natural and really good for you. And it tastes really good. The only thing is that if you get it on anything, it's gonna stain yellow. <laughs> All right. We got some scallions. Oh, I forgot this. And I'm also gonna add a little paprika. The only thing I ever use paprika on are deviled eggs. So I'm kind of experimenting with the paprika. We got some parsley. So Gabe has this side yard on the side of his house and we're trying to think of something to do with that yard. And I'm thinking about planting a little garden and like actually keeping up with it because not gonna lie, I don't have the best green thumb, but it's because I never actually tend to it. We got some minced or chopped garlic. So when this fish cooks, it's all gonna just melt down into a sauce. It's gonna be real good. Are we gonna eat some fish with that scallions? Listen, I love scallions. <laughs> some black pepper. And I'm gonna wait until the end to add sea salt just because you can always add salt, you can't take it away. All right, I'm gonna try to make this like a little bowl. <laughs> There's mushrooms over there. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it a bowl first before I add the mushrooms. Leave me alone. This little tail is gonna get fried. Man, we need some bigger foil. Last but not least, the mushrooms. Y'all can't even tell there's a fish under there. Super excited. And any excess leftovers, throw it on there. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now to try to wrap this up in some foil. All right. He is nice and tucked in for the night. This bad boy's ready to go on the grill. All right, so I'm gonna put him over here because Gabe is actually going to be cooking a whole, oh, the smoke up my eyes, a whole mutton snapper that we caught in Jacksonville as well. So we're gonna let that cook and then I'll see you guys when it's done cooking. All right, you guys, so as we're waiting for the fish to cook, I have a little tiny, creature that I want to introduce to you guys. Some of you might already know, but a lot of you don't know, but I do have a little pet hedgehog. Oh, oh careful, you gotta be gentle. He's so spiky. Really spiky. Now, a little info about hedgehogs is they are nocturnal. So that means, if you don't know, um, they are asleep all day and they run on their little wheels and they're very active at night. Luke, you run on your wheels all day and night. <laughs> also, and they only live to about three to four years. So it's kind of sad, but I mean, a really old hedgehog could live to five, but. Where'd you just come from? <laughs> Check out that blue Gabe merch. Oh, my birthday was in five years ago. Was in five years ago? Yeah. You didn't have a birthday since then? 
But yeah, she's actually being super, super friendly right now. Sometimes she gets a little irritated and she'll start and spiking up her spines, but she's being really tolerable right now. Let's introduce her to Redneck. Redneck. That's not a good idea. Redneck. He's outside. Check out this format I got Gabe for Christmas though. It's pretty legit. It says, going hunting, be back soon to go fishing. That's right. <laughs> Come on, Renee. Right and you're a Come here, Renee. Right Look, it's okay. No, be nice. Be nice. It's okay. Be He's nice. He's like, if I can't eat it, I don't want Luke. nothing to do with it. Luke, come here. Watch out, Luke. Be nice, Renee. Be nice. Look. Aww. Redneck. He's not at all a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, he's like, just set it down and walk <laughs> away. Yeah, hedgehogs, um, if hedgehogs see, see um, like, bad creatures, they stick their spines up on their back mm -hmm. and they protect themselves. <laughs> see, see how she just rolled up? So she pretty much looks like just a big old pine cone. Pine cone. They're not native to, the, to North America at all. They're native to Europe. So my I have, finger was just in the screen. Right, was it the whole time? See? No. See how she got scared? So she spiked up those spines. Careful. <laughs> Another thing that they do is called anointing. And so if they find something they like, kind of like dogs mark their territory, they, it's very hard to explain. So if I let her outside in the grass, she'll find the leaf and she loves the smell of the leaf. She'll chew the leaf turn around and she'll spit on her back so she smells like her environment. It's pretty weird. I do that when I'm hunting. <laughs> I'd chew up some leaves and just spit it all over myself. That way the deer don't smell ya. But yeah, she's she's a sweetheart. But next I just put down the animal. No. Hedgehogs are very cute. That is a that is a number one fact. You're awful quiet tonight. <laughs> Mesmerized. All right, we're gonna put her back, and now we're gonna go check on the fish. Look at that! Look at that, though. What? She looks kind of like. What are you gonna do in Alabama if one of those steps out? She looks. Chewed it. She Chewed looks, it. She looks much like a um a, a hog, but she has spikes on her back. A hog. A yeah. hog with spikes. Y'all leave a comment below if yeah, you think Kelly looks. will have buck fever if that buck steps out. I'll be, oh my gosh, we'll have to find out. <laughs> you tell them what you shot there today? I shot a doe with a 270 up in Georgia. How many yards? 200. 140. <laughs> <laughs> no Close, 200, you know. Rounded it up. <laughs> no one's Rounded telling it up. Me. Hey, at least you brought home some meat. I have yet to brought home some meat yet, so. Better luck in 2021. Oh. All right, you guys, the trigger fish has been on the grill for 58 minutes. Why are you getting so close? I want to undo okay. unveiling. <laughs> all right, geez, you said that so mean. No, I want to see it. I'm ready to eat. All right, all see? right, all right. I got my fork. Okay, so I it was on the grill for 57 minutes, and then I stuck it on broil in the oven for about two minutes just to brown the edges. So here we go. We're ready to reveal the fish. Oh. Hey, take it from the edge. Take it from the edge. Take We're taking it to a party. Take it from like right here. I see you're not a lefty Dad, either. <laughs> Dad, can I quickly put this in the screen I'll help you. Man, I failed. There you go. You try it first bite. Okay. Oh, it fall up, it fell apart very nicely. Dad, can I bring my um, scooter to the party so I can ride it? We're gathering up everyone. We're about to go to a New Year's Eve party right down the street. No, Gabe and I are bringing two whole fish and we're gonna wait till the ball drops. But this is really good. Mm, here babe. We're giving it a little taste test before we bring it over there. It's just falling apart. Cooked to perfection. To perfection. You ready? I don't know if I can do this with can this camera. Can you sell me it? There you go. Mmm. 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 Mm. Good? Could so use, good. Could you use some sea salt? Mm -mm. Good? All right, perfect. All right, guys. We're bundling up these fish. We're hopping in the truck. And we're going to a party. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for just 
always supporting myself and Blue Game. I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya.